Now, now you you're getting this massive wave of diarrhea hitting each other, like, like I don't know, like a tsunami of crap. Welcome to another episode from Takedowns to Breakdowns with A&P, and today we're here to talk about quite a bit of stuff: Ozfest, Metaverse, Hatebreed, Nazi punks. Where? W- fuck off. Where, where where do we start? Let's go in alphabetical order. Let's just go with the fucking Nazis. There because you go. I, because I figure that anytime you have an argument with somebody, there's a Venn diagram, and, and Nazis, and, Nazis and Hitler is like in that Venn diagram I think it of, depends of an on, argument. It depends on the race of the person, but usually, if you know, I don't I don't care what race it is. At, at any point in time, if if the argument goes for long enough. I Hitler and Nazis get thrown into it. Hitler, Nazis, and in, in the Holocaust always get. They're always a I part know, of. They're it. all kind of like go hand in hand. That's true, but they're kind of hard to have one without the other. They're always being compared to things that are not not comparable. Comparable to. Okay, what they so are. this has nothing to do with comparing, but Hatebreed was playing in Oakland City, and apparently there was a Nazi in the crowd. Now. I don't know if if the, if you if this person I'm assuming it's a dude uh, I don't know if this person w- is was has been or will ever be or has ever been a Nazi I, I don't know I don't know the person because yeah. they don't there's a video out there but the video doesn't show the person it's not like the person was walking around doing the Nazi salute so I I don't know okay. all I know is that the crowd identified this person as being a Nazi and then they brought this to the attention of the band and they asked the band to ask the person to leave the premises. I, I, first of all, very like very polite. Very folk. polite. But also, how do you identify someone as a Nazi? Maybe they know him from from being a Nazi around Oakland. I, I don't know. So wait, but maybe what, he goes around doing the Nazi salute everywhere he goes. I, I'm so. I, con- what the fuck do I know? But what the fuck do they know? That's the real. Well, they must know the guy for them to bring up. That's like, true. For everybody, in the I want to know what the process is of identifying a Nazi. Well, if he has a swastika tattooed on his neck, then I think that's pretty but identifiable. You, but, okay. American History X style. Like, I mean, if you have anything like that, I think that kind of, I mean, speaks for itself, right? Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, l- let's go with the assumption that the, that the person kicked out was a Nazi. Let's, okay, let's well, go with that assumption. Okay, swastika tattoo and everything. Uh, yeah, I don't know that, but okay, let's go with that. Let's go, that's the case. The, the interesting part about this whole thing is that Jamie Jasta did ask the person to leave the venue and whatever, and he did a whole thing about, like, you know... Uh, at hate breed shows, there's no room for fascism, for sexism, for all the isms. There's yeah, no room yeah, yeah. for any of that shit, which is fucking cool. But then he also said that, hey, you know, you guys need to police your own scene. You you shouldn't be like putting it on the band who doesn't know who these people are to kind of police the scene. No, you guys gotta do your own policing of the your own which is scene. which is true. Which I wait, totally agree this, with. Wait, what was this in the concert, right? Yeah, what well, was the the song? This happened before the last song. Which was okay, okay. I will be hold heard. On. I think is hold was, on. I will be hold heard. on, hold on, hold on. So that brings me back to the identify. If he if he was an if you identify this guy as a Nazi, how do you wait until the last song to ask to be, him to be kicked out? Oh, they were also very polite in the whole process. With so, the whole ass. So yeah, so yeah, maybe yeah. they're like, okay, he did spend money on a ticket. We don't want to ruin his night completely. But he can't listen to the last but song. But the last song. This is where we draw the line. The last song. You know, we cannot allow that. Do you think they were like we huddling to... around him the entire concert and letting him watch but Unless... covering his ears? No, maybe maybe they did try tried to get him out but he wouldn't get out and but how does he take you all the way to the last song I don't know how point? I don't know how it does it okay. but what I will say is good on Jamie Josta because it is not for the band to police or or to 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 do any of no, that I don't because agree. what the, I actually feel bad for them because what the the crowd did was they put them on on, on a tough spot On a there. tough, tough spot. Because the, the, they don't now, know who this guy is. Because now, now you're just trying to play your set, but now you're in the middle of controversy. Because what if you don't kick this guy out? Boom. MTV. What, what about if you kick him out and he's not a Nazi? Boom. Another thing. Like, you can't do this to the band. I feel so... I actually feel bad for, for Hatebreed because... Like, there's no win here. There's no win for them. And you just put them on the spot. Like I mean, kicking the guy out is probably the best win here, but uh, which is what they did, but... I, listen, if you it still you know them. you know your scene, you know the people in your scene. You go to shows all the time, like in Toronto here. There, there is there is different cliques. Everybody knows everybody, but we kind of know like who's at the shows on a regular basis. If I go to a show and there's a guy acting a fool, I know if that guy is a regular or is not a regular. I mean, we go to enough shows that we know. Yeah, and we can kind of police our own scene in terms of people stepping out of bounds. Because if if I see a guy stepping out of bounds, if the security guy sees a guy who they don't recognize 
Uh, this has happened at shows where we've been, where there's somebody stepping out of line. I'm not saying that they were Nazis or anything. Not, that's not That wasn't the case. But they were just crossing the line as far as their behavior, even towards females at the show. And because they were, and I'm not saying if they were a recognizable face, they would be treated any different. That's not what I'm implying here. But what I'm saying is because we didn't recognize who the person was, we acted, we, we didn't stop and ask the band, hey, this guy is groping this girl over here. Can you like get him kicked out? Yeah. No, we acted, the security came in our in our defense to act as well because they know us they don't know this guy so they're going to take our word first over a guy who they've never seen at a show and we kind of do our own policing I, and i think Jamie's 100 percent correct the the fence should never put the onus on the band to deal with it's because different the band in a, in a weird situation it's different if the guy is in the middle of the crowd punching somebody or acting violent because that's, because of his of his beliefs and what people are trying to do then obviously you're not going to fucking uh play uh you know destroy everything while this fucking guy is destroying, destroying everything. everything yeah so you know like th th there is there is when the when those lines cross when when the actions of the fans impact what's happening on stage then i can see the band stopping and say hey wait a minute stop the song let's deal with this whatever and then we continue but th this was not the case so i'm with him 100 percent. i think yeah. the crowd has to get the balls to kick the guy out on their own and not necessarily ask the it's band to do so. It's all against one. Come on. Exactly. United we stand, divided we fall. Fuck. I mean, if, you, if you're not going to stand against a fucking Nazi, who are you going to stand against? Exactly. Seri I mean, that's really the lowest common denominator of evil. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, like, that. that is like step one. If you're playing a game and you reach the first boss, that is the first boss. You know what I mean? It's We're not, the Nazi. It's the Nazi guy. You know what I mean? The Oakland Nazi guy. That's like the first guy you got you to gotta beat. So, anyways, I thought that story was interesting. I just found it funny that they, the, uh, the, the, the wording of, uh, of just, like, declaring that he's a Nazi... It, 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 I found it funny because there's so much backstory I want to know. Like, I want to know how these people know and if he's, like, a prolific Nazi in the neighborhood. I just want to know why they took it that, that long until the last so That's also what I want to know is, like, if, so you did, if you already knew that and you see him, then wouldn't it take it, like, it would take you the opening band to kick him out? I agree. But any, unless he showed up just for the last song. Oh, that's a Nazi <laughs> thing to do, though. Yeah, that is a fucking Nazi thing to do. He probably that's... didn't pay for the ticket either. Fuck them. No, no, no. He probably paid for the ticket, but only went to the... F like, there was, like, probably two bands. He, he probably only likes two songs. I Will Be Heard and Destroy Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like those were the two songs he those was Those were two songs, for. yeah, yeah. yeah that's he was, where he was, was going to leave after anyway. He was going to leave after anyway. So he's probably like, oh, I, got, I got my fix. I'm, I'm yeah, out yeah. of here. So anyway, so that's story number one. The story number two that hit this week uh, that I feel like needs to be addressed is Ozfest. And metaverse. I mean, metaverse is already fucking shit as it is. Ozfest. One could argue that it's already shit or was shit as it was. So they're on the same now, wavelength. now, now you you're getting this massive wave of diarrhea hitting each other, like, like I don't know, like a tsunami of crap. So what what was announced? I want to get your take on this because this this was announced that Ozfest is going virtual. They're going in the metaverse. Yes, it's going to be free. Okay, so I'm going to give you all, all the information. Not free, because you do have to buy... It, to do meta, you have to buy the uh, the quest, which I have one, and it was like $560. Oh, uh, um, I don't know. They said it was free, apparently. Apparently, it's free. I, I don't know what he's talking about. Anyway, you don't need the... You don't need the, the, the... Oh, you don't need the goggles? No, no, Okay, no. so it's free, free. So you don't need the goggles. You don't need any of that shit. It's free. They're going to have Ozfest in this virtual metaverse. Apparently, there's, I don't know, how many stages. You can go to these different areas and whatever. And then they announced the lineup. Motorhead is in the lineup. I mean, there's no living original member of Motorhead. So, obviously, they have some previously recorded show that they're going to broadcast. So, it's basically a, a stream. But it's not even a live stream. It's a stream of bands playing sets that they already played that they, they were not recorded specifically for yes, this I know, I know stuff that was about. already recorded and they're just putting it all together throwing it out there and calling it Ozfest. i mean this could not be shittier this could not be shittier if there's uh, we 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 in general more uh, you know uh, motorhead fans metalheads we put up with streams during the pandemic because there was no other choice there's but choices now metal is to be heard live not yeah. a fucking stream especially when you're getting like youtube clips at this point that's what you're getting at this point i'm getting like 1985 motorhead or whatever the fuck like yeah you can probably watch on youtube i'm getting like i'm getting i'm getting like a, a video of, i'll be able to listen to it i'll be like 
Yeah, I feel like this is before I was even born, Motorhead. Like, not even, like, while I was alive, Motorhead. If, if, you, if you needed the goggles and you had that experience... Okay, listen, okay, maybe then listen. it would be kind of down to, to to dab. Which, which the goggles are cool as fuck, so that's the only thing I'll give Meta is. is I like my goggles, because I can do, like, YouTube videos, and the YouTube 360... All this shit's awesome. And I wish... But that's not the case for this. But I wish that's what they did. That would be so fucking cool. And that's not what they're doing. I mean, I think it would have been even cooler if the bands had recorded performances specifically for this festival. Like, you know, specifically, like you're recording a show and then the only way for you to watch that show is if you attend this OzFest. But no, you're going to watch shit that you can probably already watch anyways. I mean, the whole idea is asinine. It would have been funny. It's just asinine. It would have been funny if, if it was all bands who are, are with us, you know. And they had to also wear the headsets and play their shit, so you just see their avatar in game, and it looks fucking stupid. That would be funny, but uh, you know what? It, you know what this feels to me. What this feels to me that Ozzy is too old to actually go on a tour because Ozfest is not just one one time show; it's it's a whole tour. And normally he's the headliner of said. Oz, I mean, it's the fucking tour. His name after him. Ozfest. So I feel like the guy's too fucking old. He wants to sit at home. We were supposed to go see him. I know that's never gonna happen now. But anyways, he's too old. He doesn't want a tour, but he still wants to do this Ozfest thing. And I'm sure they're still gonna generate money. Oh, definitely. I'm still like. I mean, even though the concert is free, I'm sure there's sponsors. I'm sure there's, uh, you know, people putting virtual money in. Virtual beers that you can buy. I'm sure there's virtual shit you can buy, like virtual merch for your avatar or whatever. Or probably you'll be able to buy know. like virtual stuff and they'll just send it to your house. I, I don't know. But I'm sure nobody does anything for free. Yeah. And if Sharon Osbourne is involved, then definitely nobody's doing anything for free. So I just feel like this is such a lazy, lame ass idiotic pathetic idea that maybe would have made sense in 2020 and the heart of the pandemic but right now in 2022 it makes zero sense whatsoever and when you announce that motorhead is one of the big acts i'm like what the fuck what the fuck i i, I don't know man i i think i think this is just horrible it's pathetic it's horrible uh you know it, it has zero appeal to me. It has zero appeal. Yeah. Zero appeal. It has zero appeal to me, and I feel like they're really missing the mark with this whole thing because uh, I feel like the Venn diagram for meta users and metal fans are... Very narrow? Very narrow, yeah. I don't know, my, like, maybe a lot of... Because a lot of metal people also like video games, so maybe they would have the headset. No, but yeah, but not, not the boomers. But not the boomers, yeah. And Ozfest, oh, Oz, Ozfest is like, for the boomers. Well, it's not just for the boomers. But it's for but, mostly the boomers. Come on. Especially if you're announcing Motorhead as one of the bands. That's definitely for the boomers. Uh, Megadeth as well. Fuck. Even Nazi, obviously. I don't know. This is such a shitty idea. I mean, uh, of all the ideas that, that it's I'd come from watch, that I'd rather camp, watch a VR concert. I thought you were going to say I'd rather watch... Uh, the Ozzy Osbourne reality show that they used no, to have. No, no, no. I'm I'm good. I'd rather watch Ozzy Osbourne uh, clipped interviews. Those are funny. I would rather watch Ozzy Osbourne read uh, Shakespeare. How cool would that be? I want to watch him read any book, like Clifford the Big Red Dog. I feel like he'd have trouble reading that one too. What, what about the the Doctor Seuss books? Clifford Cliff, 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 Cliff the Big Red Dog. No, 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 no. Like he gets stuck, man. He's like Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Wow, wow, fuck, he gets stuck. I never thought about that. Or but... he'll talk perfect, but it's also like, I can't understand him. Like, he'll talk in cursive. <laughs> the guy speaks in Times New Roman. <laughs> you know what the fuck? He speaks in tongues. He speaks in tongues. What the guy can I speaks say? in tongues. Whatever, fuck. What a you legend. You bite off enough bats. You... <laughs> fuck, he was, he, was the, he was patient zero when it came to COVID. Fuck. <laughs> So anyhow, I just think this is this is just a horrible idea. That's all. I think yeah. I I rather do like whenever I think of meta, I think of the headset. And to be honest with you, if I was to do if there was the any, anything cool with metal and like the VR headset, it'd be VR concerts, and that would have been good during the pandemic. Not now. Not now, but during the pandemic, it would have been cool. That's why I think this 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 misses the boat completely. Exactly. This you guys you guys are a couple of years too late. And also the idea is shit. You could have done something better. A hundred percent. Like not having Ozfest at all. Yeah. That would probably be better. Retire it. Yeah. Like how Ozzy should. Or just call it Ozfest, but you know. Don't just, be there. 
or just be there at like selective uh, places, but don't tell where those selective places are. You could do that, or you could do Ozfest, but it's just hosted by Ozzy Osbourne. Oh fuck of, yeah! Instead fuck of yeah. them having to play. Exactly. Exactly. Like just, he'll come out. He'll come out. He'll go on the tour or whatever. Or and he's just introduced the bands. And he'll just introduce the the the, the, headliner. the headliners. Yeah. I'm done with that. That's a much better idea. The problem with Ozzy Osbourne to me, though, is because... It would take him two hours to introduce one headline. Oh, definitely. But it would also be that... I, I find it funny when he talks, because, you know, it's been it's also been a while since I've heard him talk, and I always get him... I don't think you're alone. I, I always get him mixed up with, like, a deeper version of, like, Austin Powers. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? And nothing in common with one another, but okay. Okay. I don't know. I feel like he'd be like, next is Megadeth, baby. Like, <laughs> say some bullshit like that. <laughs> It's Megadeth, baby. baby. <laughs> Fuck, he's, he's not, he's not Adam, <laughs> Adam Cole. Cole. <laughs> he's not Adam Cole, baby. <laughs> All right, on that note, guys, <laughs> fuck, this video is something else. Anyways, hey, we, we got the Venn diagram. We talked about Nazis. <laughs> you know what I mean? We hit it. We hit it. We hit it. All right, on that note, uh, we'll see you all at, uh, at the next video, right? Yes. All right, yeah. see you guys.